Hi everyone! I always say that uh, I don't like to buy or I don't buy things on high streets and uh, that I really like second-hand things and fine treasures. I love flea markets. So I want to show I would I want to show you my wardrobe. And you know that this year I travel, so now I am in my fifth city in Spain. I I spent one month in Asturias, Cantabria, in Bilbao, two months, and now I am north of, uh, south of Spain. So obviously, I cannot carry many things with me. And it's in back in London, I had so many things, furniture and blah blah, kitchen stuff and lot of shoes and I had to get rid of everything so I gave away and I will give to charities so now all my clothes that I have this I try to organize it a little bit but I am no this is it is as it is so these are all my clothes I have one more jacket and maybe one or two t-shirts but you can see that it's just like really few pieces and uh, probably when I will need to change place again I have to get rid of some pieces again but I also want to go into details how I purchase my thing so this is a new shirt that I bought at the flea market sorry pull and bear I really love these colors I paid one euro it was in perfect condition this one is a Massimo Dutti shirt. I really love it. It was almost new and I paid one euro at the flea market. This is another Massimo Dutti. I really like it. I paid one euro at the flea market. And you know what is the big joke actually? That probably the original price of this is like maybe 80 euro, 60, 70, 100 because it's Massimo, but it's plastic it's plastic it's like the same my famous kimono that i wear so many times it's a ted baker i purchased it for i don't know five six seven euro at the flea market but it's fully plastic so you know when i think that people are paying 100 or even more for a kimono for a plastic kimono you just realize that with marketing you can really promote any shit and people will still buy it buy it because it's not worth them a few pounds the price that i have paid at the flea market anyway oops this one i, I just bought this top it was also almost new it's like an oversized top by zara i paid one euro at the flea market Oh, I really love this jacket. It's from London. I bought it fully new at the flea market, XT, and I think it was five pounds. This is a big catch. I just bought it a week ago at the flea market. It was fully new. Someone bought it and never used. Never used. You can see that it's just like it just came out from the factory and it was four euro. Oh, oops. this is my Zara blazer. I never wear a blazer, but it was only three pounds. Oops, it was only three euros, sorry, at the second hand shop in Bilbao. So I bought it. Here I have two shirts. This one is a men's shirt, but I think I can just style it very well. And I have another shirt with a nice ice creams. The top was one euro. And the second one was three euro in Bilbao. So let's see. Oh, I just bought this one. Pull and Bear, absolute high street brand, two euro at the flea market. It was in perfect condition, almost new. What else? What else? Oh gosh, I really have to show you this Lulu Guinness. I have a Lulu Guinness bag. So the story of this bag that because I was going very often at the flea market in London to look for like proper treasures, I really, this bag caught, caught my eyes. I go there, I see it's Lulu Guinness. So I asked the trader that how much is it, but they know me, they knew me well because I was there all the time and they didn't know that this is an expensive bag. So they thought, ah, oh, just grab it. 
just bring us a cappuccino so i brought them a cappuccino in exchange for a lulu guineas bag bag what else what else this is a nice trousers by zara two euro i have my favorite trousers neon yellow by azos i bought it new at the flea market for 10 pounds in london oh i have this scarf look how pretty is it very very nice quality i love it with the london picture this is amazing i love it so i bought it 10 10 euro 10 pounds in london but i've seen here is the branding somewhere the original price is about 100 pound what else what else so you can see i i buy almost everything second hand and i can save so much money but really a lot of money this is a pole and shark top it was also almost new when I bought it for four euro in a second hand shop in London. What else? What else? Now this one I just bought for a euro for one euro. It's like a really cute Zara mini skirt. I cannot wear wait to wear it. Okay, this is another trousers. So pretty i love them but this was also three euro so this is just amazing i can save so much money and this one is second hand this one is second hand second hand this one is second hand this one this is a leggings this is what i bought in a normal shop and i couldn't find second hand shop while i was traveling second hand second hand so probably I have two or three pieces that I bought in a shop. Usually when I travel and I cannot find anything, but I need something immediately. And all the rest is just like one or two euro pound. It's amazing. And plus I, I have like really nice stuff. So that's it. Please try, try this, try this treasure hunting. You can, you can, you can, you can find really amazing pieces for just few pounds. And some people say that it takes a lot of time. Yes, it takes, it takes some time. Yes, come on. If you have to work hours and hours to get one top, you are at the same place. And at least you can have a sustainable lifestyle by wearing secondhand stuff.